What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome to my guide for Atelier Riser 3. In this video, we are going to be looking at the best armor to use for any non alchemistic character. And by that, I mean pretty much anyone you aren't going to be using items with should be using this armor. And we're also going to talk about the traits and the super traits for it as well. So let's jump into it, shall we? Now, the armor in question is going to be the Amanoir. I know I probably pronounced that wrong. I apologize. Butcher me in the comments as YouTube chat typically does. So what we are going to do for this, first of all, is unfortunately, we don't have a prerequisite synthesis for it. So we do have to start on the armor itself, which means we are limited to just 12 quantity. What we're going to do first and foremost is very simply just drop the items in normally, the ones that we are supposed to drop in. For the metal effect here, we are just going to dump in another perfect grand ingot. And then for the jewels, however, we are actually going to use a philosopher's stone. And the main reason for this is, one, it's an easy way to get to the traits on the armor. We will be using attack and defense charge plus plus. We're using HP charge plus plus and also stats charge plus plus. Unfortunately for armors, there's really not much variety in terms of traits that we can use. So we're going to use them and since we have to use a jewel anyway, we might as well use the Philosopher's Stone to simply unlock the vast majority of all the other abilities. And then we're also going to need to drop a dark glittering oval in as well. Now right here, we have not completely perfected the item yet. We're still missing a couple of things down here, over here as well. And also, well, we've actually finished up top. That's great. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to drop a another grand organ right here in that ingot slot. And now we're actually just going to leave this. We're going to just dump a bunch of grand ingots in here. And then we're going to get the remaining abilities later via item rebuilding. This way, we can really maximize the amount of stats we actually get on this piece of armor. So, what we need to do first and foremost is we are going to use a super key as well. Sorry, a super rare key. Now, you can either go for the super rare bonus for the HP increase L. That would give you an extra 50 HP. Or you can filter the key effect and go for something else. You can use quantity up or you can go for a stat increase. Now, the attack, defense and speed increase XXLs will give you 50 in each stat. If you use HP increase XXL, you will get 100 HP. Now, me personally, I actually prefer to use the quantity up key effect. This allows us to put more grand, uh, grand organs in the synthesis, which yes, works out at less stats for, you know, say just defense or just health. However, it is much more all round and encompassing, allowing us to get a more balanced armor with, you know, just a little bit more stats in general. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to go ahead and dump in the grand organs. And unfortunately, I don't think I actually have enough right now. No, I don't actually have enough. I needed one more. Okay, well, that's not the end of the world. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, do I actually not have any more? I could have swore I just duped like 50 of them. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to come back out and we're going to go ahead and dupe some of them. That's weird. I honestly could have swore I made like 40 of them just. Well, it's not the end of the world. We just have to dupe a couple more. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and just dupe 20 of them. That way we definitely, definitely have more than enough. No idea where my others went aboard. Hey, it's one of them things, right? Okay, so we're, now we are going to basically just repeat the process. We're going to dump the grand organs in. We're going to jump, uh, dump the ovals in, the philosopher's stone. And then we're basically just kind of going to do exactly what we just did, basically. So once again, another grand organ right there. Now we're going to use the key. See, didn't take us that long to get back to where we were. Now did it. Okay, so now we've got the quantity up. This means we can stick another 10 grand organs in there. 
this is just going to give us, you know, a nice bit of extra stats. And as I said, I do prefer the all around method for stats rather than just using a key and focusing on one individual stat. So we've dropped all them in. Now, these are the traits we are going to be using. I know the super trait is not applied just yet. That is fine. We will add that after this in item rebuilding. So we've made the armor now. Now it's time to rebuild it. This is where we're going to get the remaining effects and also where we are going to add the super trait as well. Also, make sure you do one final check just to make sure all the abilities are completely maxed out. Okay, so now right here we have all the effects learned. So now it's time to go ahead and get our super trait. Now, just like previously i have mentioned this in weapon videos in item videos and so on and so forth when it comes to super traits you can only pass these on via normal items okay this is normal gathered items so right here like the puny ball for example you can pass a trait on from that where if it was on say a philosopher's stone you would not be able to okay super traits can only be passed on from the original gathered item anything synthesized cannot pass a super trait on now for those who did not see that the traits in question are hp charge plus plus attack and defense charge plus plus and stat charge plus plus the super trait is going to be lion rush why lion rush well this will actually take 20 defense off from us but it will give us an extra 80 attack and speed now, there is another super trait that we could actually use, which is prepared for death. However, really, this super trait is only really for alchemists, simply due to the fact that they do have items that will lower their health in exchange for more damage. That, and even without this, there is quite literally nothing in the game that survives a single item use, even on charismatic difficulty anyway so it's kind of unneeded right now whereas at least with um at least with lion Ru uh, sorry lion rush it will give us you know 80 attack on any support characters that are just there to build ap up for us anyway so we've got all the abilities learned we've got our stats sort of maxed on it and we have the super trait on there now so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and finish the synthesis choosing the traits and the super traits now watch the attack defense and speed here boom really nice little increase right there so now we have an amazing armor with really high attack hp and defense as well so what we're going to do now that we have made that is we are just going to go ahead and lock it because now it's time to reinforce it. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to reinforcing, we already have three, uh, sorry, four abilities on the armor. Flawless, Invulnerable, Auto Recovery, and Mythical Metal. This unfortunately means we cannot put another ability on that armor. So what we need to do instead is add stats to it. Now, this is going to be entirely down to personal preference for what stats you add. Simply filter by either HP, attack, defense, or speed. Now, because it's an armor, it is better off to just actually add on defense to it. And that is exactly what we are going to do. As you can see, just by adding those top three ingredients there, we've gained another 300 defense on this armor. So we're now going to go ahead and synthesize it. We will once again have to choose the traits we will not have to choose the super trait again but now that they are all on there that is the finished armor 378 hp 394 attack 581 defense and then 306 speed with that armor whoop that's the wrong one where's the other one gone uh oh wait, yeah it won't show up there because i've uh, already rebuilt it so what we're going to do now is we are just going to sort so there's the armor it is complete so now all we have to do is actually duplicate it one for every character that can use it which is basically everybody but again do not use this on an alchemist character now the question is why are we using this armor it all comes down to the effects Firstly, Flawless will increase the maximum HP and it reduces damage taken when at full HP. 
Now, you might have seen the healing item video I made. That item fully restores you by over 10,000 health and also gives you a massive health regen. You are always going to be at full health no matter what. Granted, we need to wait for the DLC to actually find something that can uh, survive long enough to attack us, but hey, you know, we, we have the defense there if needed, right? Then we also have Invulnerable. This disables stun damage and reduces physical damage taken. This means we will not get stunned. And of course, it lowers the damage we take even further. Then we have Mythical Metal. This, again, is just a flat reduced damage and it actually increases stun damage. Last but not least is Auto Recovery, which recovers HP each turn. Granted, we don't need that because we do have items that will allow us to do it. But hey, this means we simply don't have to use an item for it to gain the effect of Flawless. With this armor on, you are pretty much guaranteed to have just an incredible, incredibly tanky character that can just take a real beating. And now that the armor is made... Well, all we're going to do is go ahead and duplicate it, pretty much. As I said, one for every character. So what I would suggest doing is probably use this on everybody except for Riser and Empel. Now, I'm just going to dupe 11 of them. Yes, that's too many, but hey, it makes life nice and easy, right? But though, everybody, that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope it's helped. If it has, then please be sure to smash that like button and, of course, drop a comment down below. Let me know the first thing you are going to fight with this armor and, of course, how much it actually helped. As always, though, everybody, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.